Who remembers these things? This is where I got my start in RC Media, guys. It was back in, I think, 1992. I wrote my first article, and then 1994, I was hired full-time as an editor, and I've been doing it ever since. I loved RC when I was a kid. It's what I wanted to do for a living, and luckily, I was able to do it. I got into the magazines, and we were the media source for the entire world, basically. Just a handful of us were making these magazines for years and years before YouTube even existed. We had like millions of subscribers, and it was really an honor to be able to go and you know share the passion, share you know what was coming out in RC, review stuff, share events and stuff like that. It's just been an awesome journey overall. I absolutely love doing it. That's why I'm still doing it today on YouTube. And you know, I may not have the biggest channel in the world, but I've got the experience to share with you guys. And back in the magazine days, one of my favorite things to do was come up with a top 10 at the end of the year of stuff that we reviewed and share it with our readers. And I've been doing it here on YouTube. I've done it a couple times throughout the years, sharing a top 10, and uh, that's what we're gonna do for 2023. Lots of exciting stuff came out this year, even some boats I was considering for this top 10 list. And what you're gonna see is the top 10 of stuff I reviewed here on this channel. I know there's a ton of cars out there that we haven't reviewed, and I don't want this just to be a, you know, get views type of video. I want it to be real. I want it to be stuff that I experience, stuff I like, and you know, wanna share with you guys what I think my favorite is. So let's get into it. Let's start off with number 10. I have to tell you, years ago, I wouldn't have considered putting a Red Cat RC on my top 10 list, but these guys have really turned the company around over the past few years, and their offerings are really impressive. And this year, they came out with the Ascent, and this was just an absolute blast to drive. This rig is ready to run, and it's under $300. It's competition style, it's a performance rig, and I just really enjoy driving it. A comp style rig isn't typically my go-to, but what I like about them is I could go out and drive them and enjoy the performance of the rig on my own. And with this release, they gave you a lot for your money. I mean, you're getting portal axles, you're getting the competition performance style chassis, aluminum shocks, metal gears, ball bearings, universals in the front. The tires are good, and then depending on the body style you get, uh, you got the cab set up here where you can go remove the bed or they have the standard version all one piece. I mean, Red Cat has really stepped things up and I can't wait to see what they come out with in 2024. To me, it's a special brand to me because it's what got me hooked on RC back in 1984. My first car was a Tamiya Falcon and I've been hooked on RC ever since. And I really enjoy the type of RC models that they produce. And that's a key word to think about. It's an RC model. A lot of people don't understand what to me is about, but they produce some very fun kits, different stuff, unique stuff, and that's what people really enjoy about it. And so when the BBX came out this year, I think it meant something special to a lot of people. People that got into RC on Tamiya, people that are just hooked on the style of cars that they produce. This is a fun buggy. First up, it's really fun to build up. They've got some, you know, classic styling in this buggy and some modern features as well. And the package just worked. I love the style of the body on this multiple piece. Got the driver figure in there, really cool looking tires on it. The trailing arm suspension, absolutely awesome. Really cool to look at while you're driving it. And then the way they built this buggy up, it's got aluminum shocks. You could do some tuning to it. It handles a brushless system. So it's a fun all around build. And it's one of the most viewed videos on the channel this year. One of the bonuses for doing RC media for so long is I've traveled all over the place and met a lot of people in RC, including a lot of manufacturers, people behind the scenes. And one company that's always impressed me since day one has been Vanquish Products. They make some killer stuff. I mean, I still have some of the original wheels that they produced. I'll never let them go in my collection. And they started coming out with kits and it was awesome to build up those kits. High performance kits, really good quality. And then this year they gave us some ready to runs. They gave us the Phoenix, they gave us this Ford Ice here and it was hard to pick which one I wanted to feature here in the top 10. 
The Phoenix was the obvious choice because that was the first one, but I really enjoy the Fordites. One, because it looks like a Jeep Willys and my, my dad had one, so there is that, but I like the simplicity of the Fordites. It doesn't have the extra gears in the transmission. And I know some people are gonna be like, well, for an extra $20, you know, you could always have that option. I get it, I understand. But at this point, I really like the simple things. And this one, you could just pull out of the box and enjoy. It works really well. I have no desire to go and throw extra servos in it. I just want it to work, and that is what it does. When you go out on the trail with this thing, it's so much fun to drive, so capable. I like the look of it. I know it's not for everybody. So it's got metal links and metal shocks, a rigid frame. I like the tires and even the radio system that it comes with. It's a really good ready to run radio system. And, and for that, I, I had to throw it on this list. So it seems like Traxxas waited to the second half of the year to start giving us some new releases. And we had a lot of exciting things to choose from. They aren't completely brand new releases. A lot of them are basically just revisions and one of those is the BL2S here. But I think it's a good thing that they do this. And here's the reason why. There's a lot of people that are like, why aren't they giving us something innovative? And here's the reason. You could get these things anywhere. You could get parts for them anywhere. You could get options for them anywhere. And if you start coming up with crazy new things, all those hobby shops and people that have been hoarding parts and stuff like that are gonna have to go and buy more new stuff. Who wants to keep buying more and more new stuff when you could just run the stuff that's here that works really well? And now with these revisions, you know, these things are a lot better. The BL2Ss were a pretty exciting release. I ran the Rustler, I ran the Slash, and those have a lot of views here on the channel. And I just reviewed the Stampede 4x4. And I really have a thing for the Stampede 4x4. I love these trucks. I love the way they run. And this one is actually more Haas-like, and you know, it carries the Stampede 4x4 name, so I'm cool with that because the Haas is a lot of fun. But this is just a really durable truck. I mean, if you're getting an RC, this is really one to consider. They've got the heavy duty parts on here now. They have a brushless motor in it. It's got their sledgehammer tires. Love the look of the body. It really makes for a fun off-road truck, whether you're bashing around in the backyard or you got a dirt lot to run in. Just a fun truck, and it's gonna put up with a lot. That's why I threw it at number seven on the list. The number six pick on my list is the Armagorgon, and these guys really did something special with this truck. No, a tool drive monster truck isn't a new concept, but they gave us a truck that works really well. It's priced just right, and it's so much fun that it's even grabbing the attention of the season enthusiasts. The Gorgon is a really solid truck. It's got a composite monocoque chassis. The suspension arms are durable, the huge oil-filled shock. You get really big gears inside the transmission, heavy-duty axles going out to these Chevron tires. The body looks very cool. No body clips on top. The body clips are underneath. They have different variations of it with different color plastics. And they even have a version that you could build up and it's really easy to build. You could build it up in about an hour. And for those getting into the hobby that want to know how to tinker with their cars, that's really one to check out. Again, they've done something special with this truck. It handles awesome. I love driving it. And although Arma has put out a number of cool releases this year, this one just had to go on the list. The popularity of trail rigs and crawlers really started back in the magazine days. I can still remember one of my contributors, Jason Carter, calling me up saying, Greg, this is gonna be the next big thing. We really need to dedicate some pages to it. We did, and it just exploded from there. And one of the early companies was obviously Axial Racing, and they have just created some amazing rigs over the years. And this one here, the CJ7, based on the SCX10 3 platform, isn't the most new and innovative offering from them, but it's just a really fun rig to drive. There's something magical about this one, just the way it's balanced, just the way it's all set up. It works really well. And like I said, I know it's nothing new, but there's just something about this particular rig. I do like Jeeps as well, you guys know that. But what I like about this one is they have a lot of hard plastic parts on the body mixed with some Lexan parts, some really good tires. They got the aluminum shocks, their steel frame rails solid straight axles. We didn't see portals on this one, which was absolutely awesome. But the combination, again, all just works. And it was close. I was thinking about putting the SCX24 Dodge Power Wagon in this slot, you know, because it's got the oil-filled shocks now, came with the Proline tires and the hard body. But when it came down to it, when I was just going back and forth between the two, 
I really enjoyed driving this one a bit more. FMS model, where did these guys come from? I mean, they've been hitting the scene for the past few years and their releases are getting better and better. Yes, a lot of them are based on the same chassis, but it's the bodies that go on them that are absolutely incredible, just really well detailed. But now they're starting to give us more performance stuff, which is what we've been asking for. They've been listening to us, which is really cool. And one of their releases, the FCX 18, is really awesome for a stock out of the box, small scale rig is a great model to drive. This one has a two speed transmission. They've got metal links, oil filled shocks, which are aluminum, the long can motor, and then this beautiful LC80 body with LED lights in it. I mean, it is just a cool rig sitting on the shelf, but it really performs when you wanna go take it outside, whether it's around your house or even a small crawler course, this thing performs well right out of the box and it's priced right. It's just exploded in popularity. I think they're gonna have more body sets on this chassis. And this is really one of those companies to, to look out for. It's big and expensive, but it's absolutely impressive. Arma's Outcast 8S EXB was just an awesome truck to drive. And I actually didn't drive it in the beginning. What I did with this truck was, I gave it to 10 people and let them drive it however they want to see what this truck could put up with. And at the end of the day, it was still driving. There were some bent parts and the broken body and the wings a little shifted in the rear, but this truck is still fully drivable and it was absolutely awesome. The Outcast is a stunt truck. You could do backflips, front flips with this thing. And they outfitted this truck with so many good parts. This is their ultimate release this year, I think. They have the Creighton 8S as well. I still owe you guys a video on that. I apologize and just, a side note for those of you that saw my quick little rundown on the RC Driver 2 channel where the, uh, the throttle dropped off, it was at no fault of the truck. But that video is coming. Had something special planned, keeps falling through, but I'll get there. But back to this one, such a cool truck. I finally took the wheel, just awesome with the stunts. The power of this thing is incredible. The chassis stayed flat, no broken arms, and it just it handles awesome. So. If you have the budget for it and you have the space, that is key. One of the Arma vehicles, these 8S vehicles, is just the way to go in RC. The adrenaline that'll be pumping through you while you're driving this thing makes it totally worth it. Traxxas did something right with the Raptor R. It's not a completely new truck from them, but what they've done here is given us a very scaled truck with a performance chassis underneath it. And hey, the world is going scale now. Everything coming out has some sort of scale look to it. And the Raptor R is a pretty awesome truck to begin with. And this one, it's got a lot of detail to it. You've got this detailed front bumper, the grill with the lights, chrome inserts inside the lights. You can put LEDs in here. Same with the taillights, good looking rear bumper. And the most important thing on this truck is no body clips. All the clips are underneath in the wheel wells. You pop the quick release tabs, you get the body off and you can access the chassis. Now this truck has their longer chassis on it, so it's nice and stable. It's got these really cool looking wheels and tires. The heavy duty kit parts are on this, such as the shock tower, the caster blocks, the steering knuckles, the rear hubs. They even give you the HD arms on it. And then this truck is VXL powered. So it runs on 3S and this thing books. It's a blast to drive. It looks awesome when you're driving it. I really thought that this truck deserves to be on the list. And at the top of my top 10 list is the Losi Pro Moto. Now, as you guys could probably imagine over all the years I've been doing this, I've driven a lot of RC motorcycles, not to say that there is a lot, but pretty much everything that has come out, I've driven. And this one by far is the best motorcycle I've ever driven or rode, however you wanna call it. I'm actually not sitting on it. So it is driving it, because you're driving it through the radio system. But this thing was absolutely awesome. Losi outdid themselves. It's got the gyro in there that just keeps the bike up upright, easy to drive. This bike had plenty of power on 2S. A lot of people wanted more power, but guys, it is well powered out of the box. It's a pretty durable bike as well. Can you break it? Yes, I was actually, I think the very first person to report on something being broken. I showed you guys how to fix it as well, but this is just a cool bike. When I was going over the jumps, the thing lands on uh, the two tires, soaks up the jumps. If you do cartwheel it or anything, it always lands back down on the wheels. To really get this thing out of shape to where you have to go pick it up yourself, is you gotta go and remove the wheelie bars. Awesome bike from them. It's got a lot of people excited about running a dirt bike, although the racing thing doesn't really seem to have panned out 
people are really still enjoying these things, whether it's in their yard or in a dirt lot or whatever. And there's already a ton of option parts coming out for it as well. So you can go and customize the look of your bike. As you can see, I've already got a bunch of blue plastics on mine. Still projects in the works on this one, guys. I promise you're gonna see them this coming year. But yes, it did have a bit of an issue with the shipping when it was released, but uh, the bike itself, that's what I'm looking at here. They did an amazing job with this. Looks cool, drives even better. There you have it, guys. My top 10 list for this year. It was really hard to pick it out. I mean, I sat at my desk for hours looking at everything that we reviewed here on the channel this year. And I think I pretty much nailed it, but I'm sure you guys have your own opinions. Let me know what your top 10 list is in the comments section below. It'll be interesting to see what you come up with.